because it is blazing hot out here today hi child and I've got a lot of people who have been asking for some watermelon if I'm growing watermelon don't mind the kids in the background but I am growing watermelon, so I'll give you guys a quick peek. You guys want to be in the video? Sure. What you going to say? Hey, guys, we're in the pool. <laughs> Aiden? All right, what's up, y'all? Yeah, what's up? All right, so right here by the grapes, I've got a couple of watermelon plants and a few of the watermelons. So here's one right here. And here's one right here. What's up, y'all? Really, Devin? Here's a yeah, tiny one a that don't look like it's doing all that great. I might have to pull that. Um, it definitely requires a lot of water, seeing how it is hot. Guys, stop screaming. And then come down here by the raspberries. This is where, if you guys saw the previous videos, the kiddos planted some watermelon plants, primarily Aiden. So it has filled up this entire spot where it was just wood chips before. And we do have a couple of them in here. Uh, but it's always... Okay, here goes some. So here's this one. And that one. And that one. And if we come in here... There's that one. I know I saw a few more. And that one. Devin, Tiana, stop screaming. And that one. And that one. And there are plenty of different varieties in here, so it's going to be fun opening up these bad boys once they're ripened. All right, and then over here, these watermelons were self-sown like this is just volunteers i did not actually put a watermelon plant over here but we've got one really big one and it is not finished because they always tell you the rule of thumb is to t check that little tendril right there that thingy right there and once that is brown dried out and it starts to brown here it sounds nice and hollow when you hit it has a nice yellow underbelly then you have a really good idea that it is ready and then I think I saw another one back there I'm going to check because I think it was really only that one but you can see the vine is going all the way around and it flowers at different times and then I've got little ones oh I did see another one ha 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 there it goes and that one looks like a sugar baby and that definitely looks like a sugar baby. And then over here in my little hodgepodge mess, which is a combination of watermelon and <laughs> which we've got one right here and cucumbers. Let's see. Beautiful little specimen of a watermelon right there. And a whole lot of grass. There's a cucumber ready to be picked. Ugh. And it's sometimes hard to spot them. That is definitely ready to be picked. Because a lot of the weeds keep popping up over here. No matter how hard. I pull them. And my fault for not trellising the cucumbers like I should have. But as you see, we are getting watermelon. Still getting plenty of cucumbers. So a different, couple different areas the watermelons will grace me with their lovely presence and as it continues to get hotter they will continue to keep growing and ripening and there's always a surprise watermelon somewhere these vines go crazy but it is a beautiful ground cover I don't care what anybody says watermelon is absolutely gorgeous looking ground cover but while I have you over here might as well take you over here so I gotta pull some of these tomatoes and I gotta restake this one that looks like it wants to fall so let's see if I can do this one handedly I wonder if it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be semi difficult but it's okay because I'll just get a stick and stake it but 
lot of these beauties are ready to be picked. Some of them fell, which are still good. And it looks like my shirt is going to be my basket again today. We're going to do a lot of this one-handed shirt, basket, pulling produce ah, without falling, hopefully. <clears throat> In the shirt, you guys go cucumber too. There we go. Cucumber holds it open for me. And these beauties. And guys, a lot of people ask me, how do I get so much food on a little tiny property? I do not baby my plants. I think I've said that in a previous video. But I do not baby these things. I let Mother Nature do what it's going to do. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. And most times, all you gotta do is plant it and it will figure itself out. I mean, ideal conditions are best, but sometimes you can't guarantee ideal conditions. So you gotta work with what you got. See, stuff like that. You can't let things like that bother you because you know what? When you grow it, other animals are gonna come and try to eat it too. So although we grow it for us, they think it's for them. And for me, the biggest battle are the bunnies, the birds, the bugs, which are the ones that I despise the most are the bugs. Some things be creepy looking. So, <clears throat> All that, just from a random walk. Oh, I can pick some okra too. I think I could pick it. I think I might have let it get a little too big, but it is okay. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Might be a little too big. I'm gonna try it. Hi! 